I'm Evan Flues. I'm a professional mountain biker and uh, started falling in love in the sport of mountain biking back when I was nine or ten years old. Uh, it's been sort of a constant in my life and followed me whether it was through school, work, uh, now I have a family and uh, it's time to give it back a little bit so I'm actually working on some new parts to help change the sport I think. So I've raced all different types of events uh, ranging from short track, BMX, downhill, cyclocross. Uh, these days I'm into the endurance side of mountain biking so races that are called marathons might be 40 to 60 miles, uh, take somewhere in the neighborhood of four to six hours in length. Um, I also occasionally will do a 100 mile race, even 12 hour and 24 hour races. One of the biggest things about riding your bike for that long is just being comfortable. It's hard to go fast if you're not comfortable and you're not strong on the bike. So when you're out racing a bike or even just riding a bike for fun for many hours on end, one of the things that often happens to people is they experience pain in their upper back or arms or neck. And a lot of this has to do with the fact that uh, mountain bikes over the years have, have adopted many different styles of handlebars, but none of them are really that ergonomic. Um, after I did my first 24 hour race and, and won that race, my pinky fingers were actually numb for about a month. And it was a real eye opener to me because it was like, well, I don't want that to happen again. And so I started experimenting with a lot of different grips and handlebar bends and positions on the bike and really discovered something uh, that helped me. And that is that when someone's in this position on the bike, crouched, ready to take on whatever is ahead of them on the trail, their hands aren't straight and their elbows aren't up and out. That isn't the ideal position. The ideal position is having the shoulder, elbow, and wrist all in alignment. But when you do that, your hand is actually not anywhere near a typical bar position. And that's where we came up with the idea for a more swept back bar. And there are many swept back bars out on the market today, but none of them have the degree of sweep that we've adopted and none of them actually provide the proper setback from the axis of the stem clamp. Uh, this prevents the bar from rotating backwards when you hit a bump or land from a jump. Um, what ultimately happens is by being in that position that's natural and strong, you're able to not only ride for a long period of time, but you're also able to absorb bumps much better. You don't have a lot of tension across your shoulders and neck, and you don't have to clench up the muscles underneath your arm, which actually ultimately will strain those nerves and blood vessels that run down the inside of your humerus bone. So anyway, what ultimately happens is you adopt that position, you're riding stronger, faster, you're able to climb because you're almost like you're hanging off of a pull-up bar when you're climbing up those hills. When you're out of the saddle, it's almost like a bar end position. It's a good compromise there. And then if you want to get arrow and, and go a little bit further in on the bars, you have a little bit further reach, which is actually quite comfortable for longer sections on the road.